Here are the four keys of an upper core player. Number one, you want to have your hips square at address. Number two, turn the trail hip, don't sway. Number three, slop the club head, keep that back at the target. And number four, swing the club head past the body and whip it. So the first kryptonite is the upper core player doesn't set up with their hips square like I have here. They're going to set up with their hips back and open. And this is going to promote moving off the ball too much and the hips not rotating enough. With a good setup and the hips square, the right hip can turn or trail hip and now I'm not going to move off the ball too much. With the hips open, the club goes back too much to the outside instead of more to the inside. And then when I get to the top of my swing, my hips are not rotated as much and the club is not as deep. With square hips, I will get my left arm on plane. With the hips open, I can get the left arm to vertical. The problem with that is now with the hips open and not the correct backswing and turn, now I get the club over the top of the plane instead of having the club on plane. That's what we call slotting it. And then from there, the club continues to come down, and now I'm still on plane with the good backswing, but with the hips open at address, now I'm too steep and I'm in trouble. So once we slot that club head, it's important to feel like I keep my back facing the target. I want to, that's the feel. That's not what really is going to happen. And this first move from the top, the lower body shifts, the club slots, and then number four, it's time to whip the club past my body, use my legs, and let that pull me around to my finish. The second kryptonite is where somebody turns early from the top. If you turn the hips and chest early from the top, that will move the club head out and get you over the top of the plane. That club goes out too much when you turn early as an upper core player. And then the last part is you have to understand your speed comes from your whip, your arms, hands, and wrist, and now it's time to whip that club past your body and the momentum of the club and your arms and your feet driving brings you all the way around to the finish. A mid or low core teacher is going to tell an upper core player, number one, your hips are not rotated enough at impact. Here I am at impact. I'm the top of the upper core. My hips are not that rotated. That's because the weight's in the balls of my feet. If the weight's in the balls of your feet, you're not going to be able to rotate your hips, but you're going to be able to jump and stand up. That's the second thing they say. You stand up and come out of posture. That's wrong, too. We want to do that. That's creating speed. And then the last one, release early. Here I am at impact, and you can see that I don't have the club past my left arm at impact. But a lot of people might say this is an early release, but I call it release point when the club points right back at the center of the chest and the right arm and the left arm are equal distance from that line and the right arm is straight. That's our release point. An upper core player is going to release in here. A mid core player will release a little later and a low core player will release the latest. Many students that come to see me that are upper core, they've been told to turn and lag the club. That's a low core model, not upper core. Upper core, you're going to feel like there's a flashlight in your chest pointing back here as you use your arms, hands, and wrists to whip this club past your body. That's your feel. You're going to feel whipping this club past your body. That's where your speed comes from. It's not going to come from rotating your body. So if you think you're an upper core player, make sure you get your hips square at a dress because then you can turn your trail hip without swaying, and then number four, swing the club head past the body and whip it. For more information on the upper core, to get the ebook, The Upper Core Swing, visit LarryRinker.com.